Hi comic book fans, welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video and it's that time of the week again where I've been opening my parcels uh, well I've been away all week finding out what comics I've got and I thought I'd share some of the fun ones with you okay we're gonna start off with some um, some uh, horror stroke artist pickups um, this is from a this is from a seller on whatnot a really great uh, called uh, Jester Comics. Um, I think he said he was not going to do any more, so you might have missed your opportunity. But I picked up a whole bunch of stuff from them um, around about a pound a comic. It really is cracking value. I don't quite know how they do it. And there's some pretty rare ones here. This is fantastic. Um, this is uh, an In Hyuk Lee um, cover. Um, and my best show over here probably. Absolute cracker of a comic. Um, I didn't. I paid a bit more than a pound for this one. I think this one cost me about fiver. Um, another great one because I do collect Vampirella, um, and this is a really gorgeous um, black and white um, drawing by one of my favourite artists, Lucio Perillo. This is a one in fifty variant. Uh, and this one cost again cost me more than the pound I was paying for most of the comics I picked up. This one cost me nine pounds. Um, I have got a couple of others of these uh, that I got from the London Comic Mart uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, they are absolutely stunning. The detail on the artwork is incredible. Right next up, I think this next one is uh, Ben Oliver doing uh, Vampirella here. Another great looking cover. Um, right, we then picked up, I'm going to have to do some editing. <laughs> we, here we go. This is, this is editor, this is Cave Girl, um, Cave Woman. Um, and this is um, a, um, a special limited edition, um, limited to 350 um and um yeah uh, by lance footer i presume lance footer is the artist yes indeed it says lance footer on the artwork so i do not collect cave woman but i think this went for a pound uh, so a limited edition limited to 350 for a pound i'm sure i can resell that at more than a pound right next up um we've got some red sonia Again, I do collect uh, Vampirella, Red Sonia, and Harley Quinn. <laughs> so, <laughs> here we go. A great rear view of Red Sonia. <laughs> Another one. This is just fantastic. This is by Sudum. Um, I just love the cover. Another great Red Sonia cover with um, sort of small elves or fairies uh, uh, dancing around Red Sonia in a sort of um, sepia coloured cover, really nice. Okay, I did this, I was picking up, they were, they were selling the comics in packs of five. Uh, so I bought two packs of five copies e in each of Draculina. The reason I bought them was because within each of that, that uh, for five pounds each, so it was basically a pound a comic. The reason I bought them was because there were two comics in there that I wanted because they were by one of my favourite artists. These are not one pound comics. This is Rose Besh um, on Draculina One. Fantastic Rose Besh. And uh, also on Draculina issue number two. So those will be going into my uh, Rose Besh. Besh collection those are not one pound comics so uh right i also picked up they were selling <laughs> they were selling packs of jennifer blood and one of the packs of jennifer blood had six lucio perillo covers in i'm only going to show you one here this is the one from issue number two but just look at this so they were based these were a pound these were pounds this cost me a pound just look at this lucio perillo jennifer blood cover uh, the other ones are just as good. Some fantastic artwork by Lucio Perillo here. 
um, on Jennifer Blood from Dynamite Comics. I think this was cover A. So my guess is you can pick this up for three or four quid if you go and look on the bay. Uh, but for a pound, uh, for five, well, five, five or six pounds for five or six um, Lucio Perillo covers, absolute cracking bargain. Right, my latest box from the stackery arrived, or boxes. I had three boxes. Um, now, one of them contained a bunch of comics that I could not remember buying. And I was convinced that somebody had sent them as a gift and not told me about it. However, I checked my US eBay and I found I had indeed bought uh, what was described as Darwin Cook Image Comics Lot. And when I bought it, it only listed, there was only, in the pictures, there was only five comics listed. So I got the price down, um, but the five books, there were five Darwin Cook comics that I had not got. Now, for your information, I do collect Darwin Cook. I think he's a fabulous artist. He died very young in his 50s. Um, I think in about 2015, 2016. So here are some rare, rare Darwin Cook books. Uh, first one, this was a one-shot comic called um, Lorna Relic Wrangler. <laughs> so... Uh, obviously a takeoff of Lara Croft, uh, but look at this wonderful Darwin Cook cover here. This is quite a hard to find comic, and when you do find it, it can be quite pricey. Um, this is in absolutely fantastic condition. All of the comics I got from this seller, um, sell, who sold this lot of Darwin, uh, Darwin Cooks, are in pristine mint condition. I think these have come out of somebody's personal collection. Right, next up, I didn't even know this book existed <laughs> until I opened this pack up. I'm a big fan of Brubaker and Phillips, um, of their sort of crime noir stuff. And I'm a big fan of Darwin Cook. Look at this, this is a double whammy. This is Darwin Cook doing uh, a cover for Fatal. Fantastic, look at this. And it's the, it says it's the ghost variant. Uh, this is not an expensive comic. I checked on eBay. You can go and find this and you can pay four or five dollars for this. Go and buy one. <laughs> Look at this cover. Brubaker and Finnitz, Fatal, for, oh, I mean, nothing. Um, four or five dollars. I've actually got two copies of this. There were actually two copies of this in the bundle. Um, right, next up, this is a rare comic. Okay, uh, I looked on eBay, high and low, UK eBay, US eBay, it is a ghost. Um, this is um, Madman 14, um, and this is the Darwin Cook. Well, I think there were two Darwin Cook variants to Madman 13. One of them, I did find some copies in Germany. <laughs> This one, however, I couldn't find a single copy of this uh, on eBay. I've never seen this before. I think this is an extremely rare variant. Um, I will keep having a look for it uh, to see what price it is, but I've no idea what this is worth because I can't find one. Um, right, next up, uh, this probably is, if I have to list my top five Darwin Cook covers, this one is going to be in it. OK, and again, complete ghost on, on eBay, uh, US eBay, UK eBay, not a single copy of this. This is a variant cover to Mike Aldred's It Girl and the Atomics. Um, look at this Darwin Cook cover here. Absolutely fantastic. That for me is modern art. Perfect. Um, that is just, just makes my heart sing, that cover. Look at it, it is absolutely fantastic. Um, as I said, try and find one. Very hard. None in my comic shop, none on eBay in the UK, none on eBay in the US. Uh, really hard to find. Okay, um, less rare, you can pick this one up, you can find this one, you can pick this one up for not, not much. This is Witchblade 10th Anniversary. Uh, so, Witchblade 10th Anniversary, Witchblade Animated, um, number one, and this is uh, Darwin Cook and Paul Dinney. 
really nice. You could still pick this up for five to 10 quid. Very good. Right, next up again, I had never seen this before. I didn't even know this cover existed. It wasn't one of the ones that was listed in the listing. They just sent it. Um, this is new Jersey Gods number two. And that is indeed, you can tell by the woman, uh, that is indeed a, a Darwin Cook cover. Uh, again, this one easy to find. You, this one's all over the place. You can probably pick this up for two or three dollars. Uh, probably because people haven't realised it's a Darwin Cook cover because it doesn't say Darwin, Darwin Cook on it, but it is Darwin Cook. In fact, I did look for the signature. See that little um, billboard up there? It says Dar on it. <laughs> and once you're familiar with Darwin Cook's style, that is clearly a Darwin Cook uh, artwork. So you can find that one. Jersey Gods number two, not expensive. Um, unlike a couple of the other ones. Right, next up, this is fun. This is Witchblade 10th anniversary issue. Um, and what happens here is all these writers, there's a huge list of writers here and artists, Ron Mars, Chris Bacalo, um, Mike Choi, Darwin Cook, Terry Dodson, uh, Joseph Michael Linsner, uh, Rodolfo Migliari, George Perez, Luke Ross, Mark Silvestri and basically they, they each do about two or three pages <laughs> of this story here so Darwin Cook does pages six and seven of this that's not his cover he's on pages six and seven right next up and I have a copy of this with the J Scott Campbell variant cover but I haven't got this one this is a fantastic book this is um Liberty Comics uh the CBLDF, basically they are um, a comic group which fights for the liberty of comic writers and, and anti-censorship in comics. Um, this, so this, there was, there's a J. Scott Campbell variant of this as well. Here is a Hellboy cover. Um, and Darwin Cook uh, writes, in the, writes and draws a, a story in this one as well. This is worth buying anyway. It's a good read. About, it'll cost you about $10, I think. Right, so um, what else have we got? And this next, these next ones I've never heard of. Really great. This is, um, oh, oh, it's called Creator Owned Heroes Issue 6. Now, I'd never heard of this. This was from Image in about 2005, 2006, I mean, I can't remember. In the 2000s somewhere. Um, are doing a sort of magazine uh, thing with interviews, some stories. Um, anyway, from this issue, there's a little into there's a little intro intro page by Darwin Cook here, who says that he's now going to be concentrating more on doing his own comics, creator own comics, and he, indeed from issue six on, he does write a little short story that goes in each of these issues. So there's one in here, issue six. There's one in here, issue seven, as you can see, um, a short story by Darwin Cook. Um, and this one here, number eight, again, we get a short story by Darwin Cook. Never knew of those, didn't know Darwin Cook was in them. So absolutely fantastic. Um, I did get some other ones that came in the same pack and I don't think Darwin Cook is in them. This is the Witchblade Gallery, came with the Witchblade 10th Anniversary to, um, comic. Um, I don't think Darwin Cook's in that, but this is fabulous. This is from the year 2000, and we've got a whole range of artists here drawing Witchblade. It's one of these gallery comics. Um, we also got Liberty Comics number two. Um, I, I didn't realise Liberty, Liberty Comics had got to number two. This is a variant cover. Uh, great looking cover, um, yeah, uh, this is Tim Sale, Tim Sale cover, yeah, very nice. And next up, well, a madman number nine, I don't think that is uh, Darwin Cook, I think that's Mike Aldred um, artwork on that cover, but it's quite a nice comic to have. Uh, madman Atomic Comics um, number nine. Right, what else have we picked up? We have picked up a couple of slabs. This happens because I occasionally buy uh, mystery boxes over in the States. 
mystery packs and with the mystery packs sometimes you hit upon uh you hit upon the uh, the big pack you know it's random um and then you can get to pick one of the slabs on the wall as part of your prize so i've done i've won a couple of these uh this one's really nice uh, this is um spider-man number 141 um this is the as it says on here ties with amazing spider-man 252 for first appearance of the black costume uh daredevil and black widow appear yes but what's special and it's only a 6-0 you it's only in your 6-0 uh yeah but it's signed this artwork here on the cover is accredited to mike zeckenart adams and there we go our adams has signed it so we've got a yellow label Art Adams signed Spider-Man uh, Marvel Team Up 141. Really nice uh, to have an Art Adams signature in a slab. Um, that was a pretty nice prize uh, for uh, that mystery pack. Right, next up is one. You know, I'd never go out and buy this independently, but it was sat there uh, on the wall. I couldn't resist it. It's um, Peter Porker. <laughs> the spectacular spider ham number one <laughs> there's, there's the spider ham dr doom on the cover so it's a doom cover <laughs> and it's a 9-0 um steve skeety's story mark armstrong and joel bello art and it's a mike golden cover Fantastic, Mike Golden. I didn't know it was a Mike Golden cover. There you go, Mike Golden cover. Perfect. So, um, I think that is it, guys, for today. I hope you've enjoyed those uh, pickups there. Um, some nice Lucio Perillo, a bit of Rose Besh, quite a lot of Darwin Cook, uh, and Spider Ham. What more do you want? That's your lot. See you again soon.